Hey YouTube, Todd back with another video for you today. And I'm gonna show you five key commands within Cubase that's gonna help speed up your workflow. So let's go take a look. So the first key command that's helped me speed up my workflow is the select all. So let's go dive into a MIDI region here. And what all you have to do is hit command A and it will select all your MIDI notes. Now this is very helpful when you're really selecting notes instead of dragging like this all the time. Just hit that command A and it will select everything. All right, the second key command is nudge by one bar or nudge back a bar. What this is, I've had this set up on my numpad key for the plus and minus. So plus nudges the the playhead by one bar and the minus goes by one like this as I've shown you. This is truly speed up my workflow when I'm organizing a song or going through it. I just you know can nudge by one bar, especially when I'm recording. It just goes a lot quicker. And where to find that is you go to your file and then you go to your key commands and it's under the transport uh, folder right there under transport and it's called nudge plus one bar or nudge minus one bar. Very helpful. Okay, the third key command that's really helped my workflow is window zones. And I have this mapped to my keyboard as the letter E. So it brings up my lower zones like that. And I use this all the time because if I'm putting down a piece and then I got to go and edit some MIDI data, I just hit E and I'm, I'm, I'm opening up my lower zone. And you can find that within the key commands. So it's under the window zone to just show and hide lower zone. The next one is zooming in and out of your project. And now I have this map to my G and H keys. So what this does is it just helps zoom in on your project. There's another way you can do it. You can go up here with your mouse and just pull down or pull up. Uh, but I find like when I'm using key commands, you know, my hands are just right there at the keyboard. Like let's say if I'm editing some MIDI range down here and I need, this is too big, I need like that. So really helpful. The fifth and last one is navigation. So I have on my numpad key, if you hit one, it will go to your marker that you have set up here. So let's say um, I'm playing the track and I need to go back here. I just hit one, it'll take me there. Another one is the period on the numpad. That takes you to the beginning of the project. And also the asterisk on the numpad is record and it will start recording for you just when your hands are right there and doing. So I really utilize that a lot, uh, those three. So you get a three in one. So this last one's a bonus one. It was featured in a video that I've already done uh, for template tips. It's just show and hide track data. So like right there, it's so I have this map to my uh, semicolon and then the um, comma. So what it will do is it will show when I hit the comma, it will just show tracks that have no, all the, no data, just whatever has MIDI data. And then when I hit the semicolon, this just shows all my tracks within my template. So that's just a little bonus one where you can find that is you go to your key commands, channel and track visibility, agent show all track channels. Like I said, it was featured in a template video, but some people might not watch that. And this is just a little bonus for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any key commands that you utilize in Cubase, I'd love to hear from you because uh, I'm always looking for new ways to speed up my workflow. So just drop them down in the comments section. And as always, I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, just hit that like button. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm sure you can find a bunch of videos on here that can help you, especially with Cubase, with composing, all sorts of stuff. So just take a look at the channel and be sure to take a look and subscribe. As always, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.